I'm just gonna get my answer. Sagging. The definition of sagging that I found on Urban Dictionary says wearing one's pants around the hips so that they sag down and bunch up around the ankles. Originally, this was a prison thing that signified that you were another person's property. Bitch. It says wearing your pants below your waist, it originally meant you were gay in prison. But, like he said, somehow it became confessed. But there is nothing cool. That's an opinion, some people. The point is, gay is just nothing people are gay. We're not yeah. talking about that. We're talking about people who claim that they're not gay, that your whole body's showing. Like, like you can see right here. Right? Yeah, but all of this is out, you can see the crack. And, like, it makes people like just right through your underwear. So, we see your butt. That's how your butt be looking out and grab it. And if I do, Y'all can't even get mad because I mean that's like consent. They look yeah. like no straight guy. If I'm walking and I got this on, oh, I'm, I'm asking. We did the same stuff. I actually got on shorts actually, but I would wear this without shorts. That means I'm asking for it. I'm in the party and I'm, I'm asking for it. Somebody should come over and just put their hand up there. No. In crazy comments I seen Twitter posts. You know, guys were saying like, oh. What she had on? She had on a bra and panties? Oh yeah, she deserved that. Like, so your dress, your, the outfit you wear gives you consent to be touched. You know what I'm saying? To be sexualized, to be raped. Like, what you wear. Do you have the same energy when it's a girl that you know or that's close to? Your mother, your daughter, your cousin, your niece, your aunt, your goddaughter, your stepsister. Yeah, so that's supposed to be. I got that same energy. So, no. so dude should just see her. He would just be able to touch her because of what she's wearing. Dude should be able to touch her because of what you're wearing. Yeah, I got it. It's never okay to just touch anybody. So I, I could be able to walk her side naked. Right? Yeah. not touch me. Right? This is the thing, too. When y'all be like, oh, look what she had on. Oh, look, look, she dressed like that. So that means you don't have no self control. Oh my god, she, oh my god, she has a bra. I can see her nipples. I, I gotta help her. I, I, gotta, I, gotta, I gotta, I gotta have sex for her. She, like, are you serious? That's, oh my god, her ass fat. No, come here, come here, come here, come here. <laughs> not a dead ass. Like, if you reenact y'all thoughts, they don't have no self control. That's sad. They don't have self control. Needs, that means you need to go see a therapist. That there's issues going on inside of you that you see a female and you don't know how to see. Some of y'all don't. Everybody, no one should get disrespected. No guy, no girl should be disrespected with one, how they dress, who they like, whatever. No one should get disrespected with all this. This whole thing is about the yeah, same dress. Yeah, yeah. Like, I feel like when situations happen with females, they always find a way to put it on the female. Like, all the time, oh, she should have been by herself. Oh, she shouldn't have had that on. Oh, she should have known better. This, no, no, he should have did it. He should have had more self-control. You know what I'm saying? Like, he should have more respect for himself. Right, because like... like I yeah. see, but I, I got to stop the like, you know, I'm not going to Yeah, like, I seen a video, it was a video to a girl on the train, she was a heavy set girl, and some guy, she's like, come here, I want some dick, I want some dick, and everybody's like, what the fuck is going on, why is she doing it, what do you mean, why is she doing it, she wants some dick, that's why she's doing it, she's cute, she wants him, she can do that, she was bigger than him, she can do that, she's stronger than him, <laughs> <laughs> like, is that right, and she's passed out, you should feel the way, about fucking this dead body. She's dead. You know, they're like, I'm dead. Like, she's she not engaging in the activity. That's, that's what we talked right. about. She's not engaging in the activity. She's not aware. Yeah. So much she knew ahead of time it was going to happen. But at this moment. Like you so, like, once so again, you out of control. Because they, they have a little survey. So, talking about when is it okay to rape? It's, it's, it's actually never okay to rape somebody if she let me on. If she, if she got me on. Yeah, they have a whole little survey. Like, do you know the. It don't matter. That's sick. Like I said, you want the same energy if it's your a family member of yours and the dude. What? What? She said that we was going to do something. And she knew what was going to happen at the end of the night, but she's not in the right state of mind right now. She's not even woke. She's not even conscious. I mean, if the person is not aware, like I said, they're not engaging. You should probably not. You bring this up. And then they respect the other people, like. If y'all don't know what respect is, then you probably should hang out with people. You really thinking with that head like that, like, you gotta really be in control. And if you if you really have a problem and this head takes over, you lack self-control. You, you lack self-control. You, you, self self you need to go to the doctor. Like, you need real counseling. You need some help. But that's okay. Males, females, hearing about some of these males getting molested. Yeah, that's another thing. That's another thing. Like that. 
They talk about it. Like, some of them brag. It's like they kind of brag about it. Like, two months hard to do. I'm But now, my friend, my cousin, he had a 13-year-old, he had a 14-year-old, and 16-year-old girl. You were raped, sir. You were, you were raped. I'm, I'm sorry to say it. You were taken advantage of. It's an older female. So, I, I guys have told me stories like that. And you're like, really? I have been taken advantage of. And it's like, they don't talk about it too because of the whole thing about it. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of guys who have not said anything about that ever happening to them. And then when they do say it, like I said, they say it in a bragging way, not like... The same way how some of y'all go to these girls, she drunk, whatever, or y'all beat her up, or whatever the case happens, that has happened to men in jail. That don't mean that they wanted it. Like, y'all would tease that man if he come out and say, yo, I'm glad y'all make the deal. And they don't, they don't never want to talk about it. And that's probably why they be at, some of y'all be acting the way y'all act. Because that's something that y'all got to hold their side. Because you better know, know the backlash you'll get from it. And it's they not going to feel bad for They're going to like, oh, you a punk, oh, how you? And that's probably why they acting how they acting. Because they came to be honest. Because y'all over here, seizing them, making it feel like they're less than a man. Because somebody... So they advantage of them. The same way a female got taken advantage of, which why she don't want to say nothing because y'all yeah, blame her. Oh, well, what did you do? What, what was you doing? How did you lead him on? There's nothing nobody for when they get taken advantage. Have self-control, guys. And females just don't, don't be too trusting with people. That's all I say. Right. And just don't they, be too trusting. Oh, he's cute. He did this. He did that. He bought. He spent money on me. Period. So you saw already thinking anything? Look, I'd rather look crazy and spaz on you than go and then be like, oh my god, now I'm in this situation. from other people's situation. Then you see all this little stuff on the news and stuff. They like, how did they get into that type of predicament? Just trusting somebody. Learn from these motherfucking movies. What was the movie? Oh, Taken. I mean, the girl, she just telling this, this uh, she a foreigner, and I'm just telling them all the business. What, what they gonna do, who gonna be there, who not gonna be there. Like, really? Don't just be watching this stuff and then go out in the world and just, no, be oblivious. Be aware, right? Don't be oblivious. Don't be ignorant. Right? Learn from other people's mistakes so you don't get quick. Like, like, don't be a victim. Don't just let things happen to you. Think 10 steps ahead. Ra you rather look crazy and they look at you like, she fucked that. They might think about her. All right, cool. I'm glad you're not thinking about me because if you was, you was about to get it popping, son. You wasn't just going to take me. Even when I heard about the story about the people in the parking lot, they walk into stores and, and cars pulling up on them, oh, no. throwing them in the van, stuff like that. Which way those stories pay attention? And just ready. be ready. Like, we don't want you to go out in the world, oh, scared. I want you to go out in the world being aware. Right, aware. But like, do something. Yo, this is the nicest place number. Right, and people know, like, ain't nobody over here scared. Like, I'm on you, this person over Especially by the train, too. Like, go on live right there. Like, y'all see who I'm with. Y'all see his faces. Like, use all that to your advantage. Just, just be on point, ladies and gents. And don't feel ashamed if something happens to you. You don't got to tell the whole world, but the yeah. other guys you're supposed to, you call me, tell me. I don't judge. That's a fact. I don't judge. People always feel open to tell me stuff. You can hit me up, Unfit Bay. It's Z Lovely Like, hit me up. Just real yeah. shit, man. Real shit. You talk shit. Get fit. Get fit. Get fit. Get fit. That's what we do.